Snap. We're back with the Marvel Snap video as today we're going to showcase a very spicy list that I am super excited to share and it features Annihilus. We got Annihilus very recently. Uh, we bought him through the, the token shop. Like I saw him. People were recommending me to save up my tokens for Nico Minoru, which probably was the better thing to do because Nico does allow me to uh, build more decks with her technically. But Annihilus is my kind of card. Last year, when I was playing Marvel Snap, I tried to make the Sentry work again and again and again, and I always failed. And at one point, I just, I put my foot down. I, you know, looked at my chat in the eye, that not literally, but <laughs> figuratively, I guess. And I just said, guys, I'm done with the Sentry. Uh, the Sentry is a card that it just, the card pool isn't really supporting it enough as of right now. There's only a combo with Viper, uh, and that is essentially it. And it's just way too specific. And otherwise, you know, there are some potential combinations you can go for, like you can go for Beast to bounce back the Void. You can play Carnage to eat the Void. Like, it's not like the card is like, 100% unplayable, but there's no real big payoff for combining any of these cards. And eventually in the future, we will get a card that will actually enable this to be uh, a meta defining force. And that is exactly what happened. Uh, I did not predict Annihilus to be printed. Um, I thought the combo would be a little more subtle, but <laughs> they just went all in and made a card that is just like, okay, this void, you give it to the opponent. Oh, they have the, the location filled up? Don't worry, you, you just destroy it. It's like, wow, <laughs> just patching everything that's weak about Sentry and turning him into a meta defining four drop. As Annihilus, as you guys can see, five energy, six power, your cards with power below zero switch sides, destroy those that can't. Now there have been established Annihilus decks. Some of them include Storm, which makes sense because you lock out the location and then you can generate the void there and the opponent can really fill up the location to counter the Annihilus play. Um, I'm pretty sure there's several other uh, versions of the deck um, running around. There's some clog versions with like Hazmat or Yellow Jacket and Debris to pass over some rocks to synergize beyond the sentry i wanted to do something different though especially something featuring my super giant i finally guys it cost me it cost me everything but i got the in hyuk lee variant hopefully they did not butcher that this is one of my favorite variants ever <laughs> I just really needed it. So hopefully you guys make me feel good about just losing all of my fantasies to get this by just praising my variant in the comment section down below. Thank you. I, I really need it. So we got Super Giant here and we have a very, very spicy concept that I uh, have been working on a lot. This deck did not come to be in like one day. It was a, it was a process. A lot of trial and error went into it but I ended up with these 12 cards right here. And I try to do my very best to explain how this deck functions. This deck is trying to, um, to make use of the fact that the opponents are going to be playing into the Annihilus lane more often than not. When you develop something like Sentry, or, or you play like a hood on that lane and you're starting to telegraph. The, the moment you drop the sentry, you kind of like signal to your opponent that uh, you are going to be going for an Annihilus play. So what do they generally do? They fill up the location so they don't have minus 10 power on their side of the board. That is generally the go-to play. We take advantage of this by having a deck that can indeed threaten with Annihilus and actually incorporates movement cards that can clear the space for Annihilus to properly function, but a deck that can also make use of the opponent really building up that location uh, predeterminedly, pre prematurely, English, and then we Valkyrie it. Valkyrie with Supergiant is amazing. We can Supergiant on turn four, we can Valkyrie on five, and then we can Sentry on six and utilize that void to actually get another body there. We can potentially Sentry on four, uh, which will, the, the good thing about Sentry is it's a very strong proactive play because it's adding minus 10 to the other location. You're not really gaining a, a total of points. You're, you're actually a net zero because you're putting 10 points on one location, but you're losing 10 in the other. So Sentry is not good for maintaining initiative. And with a Valkyrie deck, you want to be giving away initiative. So we can set up a Sentry on turn four and then line up for a turn six Valkyrie. But there's more. We can just Super Giant on four. We can Annihilus on five. And then with Zabu, we can do something crazy like Sentry into Stack on six, Sentry into Juggernaut on six, 
Sentry, into Lizard, into Ant-Man, or into the Demon on 6. There's just a lot of combinations that we can go for that allow us to really spike up in power. Something that I really like to go for with this deck on turn 6, with like a Zabu on the board, or even without it, is setting up a Sentry, like going for Valkyrie on 5 on the right, and then turn 6, we Sentry into Demon on the same location, and that's like 16 power! 16 power that's not even taking up all of our mana that turn and that's just happening in one turn we can just have this tremendous power boost on one location that the opponent does not see coming thanks to the demon being generated by the hood and sentry's really high base power stat so this deck is capable of really bursting into uh, a lot of strength on a specific location it's able to keep it uh you know, clean in that sense by playing stuff like Juggernaut, we can solidify a location, which is why we're playing the likes of Lizard. Because we're playing Juggernaut, because we're playing Electra, because we're playing Stegron and Polaris, we're gonna have a very easy time making sure a location is not completely filled up. Again, we utilize these resources to enable Annihilus, but also Valkyrie. Valkyrie with, for example, Electra is really good because you take away one of their four units and you don't even need Ant-Man at that point to win. It's like your own Ant-Man in that regard. Electra is also very good in this meta because it hits a lot of very key uh, one drops that are very relevant driving forces of these decks. Sunspot with the High Evolutionary deck, Black Knight in discard decks, we can snipe it. And on top of that, Nebula in lockdown decks as well. Electra just matches up super well into a lot of these decks and gives us so much, especially after the buff. The fact that she's two power is kind of crazy. And I think this card should be legitimately uh, played much more than it is. As uh, that's the deck list right there. Stegron is just really solid stats with Zabu that can allow us to keep Lizard clean. Uh, I, I say clean, it's like because the location is not filled, so my brain just says clean, keep Lizard clean. <laughs> He's very dirty, okay? Don't judge him. As, yeah, it's it's a super giant deck, ultimately, that shuts down Sarah decks. It just has a lot of really good matchups, but it's quite tricky to play because knowing where to develop Hood depends on the matchup. If you're facing a Thanos deck, do not play Hood on the right location because Annihilus will not work because they have a very easy time clogging up the, the board with the stones. But if it's another matchup, you, you do generally want to be hooding on the right. So you can friend the Annihilus, but potentially flip the location over with a Valkyrie uh, as well. You have to adapt to what you're facing and uh, really also improvise with the draws that you're given because the deck can uh, be piloted differently depending on that. You're not going to be able to super giant every game. You're not going to be able to turn uh, three energy, turn six sentry every game. You have to really adjust to what you have and uh, play accordingly to that. And hopefully today's gameplay will uh, kind of like give you a bit of a guideline to how to do it but ultimately this is an incredibly fun deck got me to two, uh, top 300 in uh, infinite rank we're currently uh sitting at 223 and uh this deck was just an absolute joy to play it's really fun uh really catches the opponents on guard and if you set things up properly you can get some really strong a cube wins and i'm gonna end it right there thank you guys for watching stay tuned for daily marvel snap content hope you enjoy the games i'll see you guys tomorrow what if like the the base super giant is actually super based? What if what if that's been the answer all along? We have Ant Man Valkyrie, but uh, we're gonna yeah we're gonna hold on to Ant Man here. Uh, Electra, Electra, where are thou, Electra? Where are thou? Electra! The Electra! I don't want to give them a Polaris, especially with a Quinjet. That's that's really annoying. What if I just juggernaut here? Peepu Saya with the five gifted subs! Thank you, Peepu! See, babe, it's okay. It balances out. It balances out. It's 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 great. I'm gonna play Polaris just for points. Screw it. I can juggernaut later. This I is kind of an iffy game though. Okay, we have a Nihilus. 
I repeat, we have a Nihilus. I hate the idea of giving them a sentry, though. Yeah, this game's not looking great, just because of the fact that I cannot position here. Like, we're just going to play into their game plan. But this gives us initiative. This gives us initiative. Over them. Which means they would have to play something there to fill it. And then that leaves our options open. We're going to Nihilus mid. We're not going to snap because we're not in a good position here. They have Quinjet and Zabu. We didn't draw Electra. So they can just play our shit for, for super free. They could just develop their own... Like, if they, if they generate an Annihilus, they could just respond with their own Annihilus. Or, or they could just have it destroy it. Valkyrie. Into Electra. Okay. Interesting. Um, Ant-Man just kind of wins here. What am I missing here? Annihilus. The problem with Stegron here, they can Polaris. The problem with Stegron is that if they if they Polaris my own unit, no Stegron. I mean. Nah, I'm gonna do this. Oh, the problem is I, I kind of do lose to um to like a Polaris play. Let's see. That's Sentry into Mobius. No, we got him. We got him. Beautiful, beautiful. Ant Man and Juggy for the win. Easy. Victory. I don't know why they snapped. That was a weird snap. I, I thought, I legit thought it was a Polaris. Like, I haven't dropped any frames or anything, so it, it has to be a, a Twitch thing. But try try refreshing. Hopefully, hopefully that fix it. Okay, we have Washington DC, which is really good with the hood. We have a Nihilus. We have a Nihilus. So I want to go hood middle here because we have a Nihilus in hand already. Okay, fuck. We're going to go Zabu and uh, make our sentry cost four energy again. Yeah, that, that Iceman. I mean, the Iceman could have been worse, I guess. But it sucks nonetheless. It's a bounce deck. What, what do you do, Nico? After you play a card here, double this card's power. I got I gotta hit that, but I, I need initiative to hit it. I need initiative to get it. So I think lizard in the middle and demon on the left will help me will help me get that initiative. except I still don't have it. We don't, we no longer have to worry about Shang-Chi though. Let's snap here. They play Zabu and Shang-Chi, so it's not purely a bounce deck. They must have a Nihilus. They must have a Nihilus, which means we need to to remain behind. What if I what if I Nihilus preemptively?
Okay, so the Beast and the Falcon. Uh, that's probably not great for them. It's the last turn. And now we have initiative on him. Oh yeah. <laughs> nice annihilus, bro. Nice annihilus. Get it wrecked. And 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 the reason why we play lizard is because we have the movement. We have the, 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 the way, like, we, we can very, with Electra and our movement cards, we can easily keep a location, like, without being full. Which also helps us clear the path for our Annihilus play as well. So, running Luke Cage is just, is quite simply, it's just kind of pointless. Polaris just gives us a lot of utility. Polaris gives us a lot of utility. Um, I, don't have a, I don't have a good Electra here. It's a forge, so we, we assume that it's like, uh, yeah, we just skip here. Really unlucky, like, curves. Finding our, our units, like, late. We're gonna go lizard on the left. And, uh, to be honest, we should just, we should just play Electra mid. No. No, it's Killmonger food. Super Giant stops them from building more into it. They destroyed once, and it's seven power. Their null is seven power. This Nico says, after you play next card, destroy to draw two cards. So that just kind of like screws up their, their end game. And I like Valkyrie here. Can we justify Valkyrie in the middle though? I think it's just Annihilus. I think it's just Annihilus and then it's it's Sentry into into Hood into Electra. Let's not snap though cuz we don't know if they play Eliath. Some some destroy decks do. But this is a very powerful setup. They do play Elias. But, but, that's not a well timed Elias. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Do, do you guys actually want to see me cosplaying? Like, actually, that's a stupid question. You, you degenerates would like to see that. Well, it's not happening. Um, yeah, that's kind of bad. See, this makes me think. We have a Nihilus in hand already. First of all, indications, no Thanos deck. This is the key turn with this deck, guys. This is the hardest turn. What do we do with this hood? I'm going to choose to skip. It's a black. Okay, it's a discard deck. Okay, so that against discard, I feel more confident. Okay, we're gonna go lizard on the left. 
no, 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 no. I'm going to retreat because um, Sakar benefits them greatly and it fucks up my combo. So we're out of here. Chat, Annihilus or Kaira with token? That's a good question. Hon honestly, it depends on what you see yourself playing. If you like Thanos decks, then Kyra is gonna be amazing. We're not gonna Electro turn one. Oh, and they're probably a Dark Hawk, so they're gonna play Dark Hawk here in the middle. Maybe even they have something like Miss Marvel. So I don't want to snap on them because this can also be this can benefit them more than me. But God damn, Zabu into the Onslaught Citadel just feels good. Look at that, look at that. Oh my God, four drops. Welcome to Power Creep, ladies and gentlemen. I think now's a good time, in, if any, to play Electra. I don't wanna play Sentry until the last turn. Can I afford, cause I can super giant into Valkyrie. The problem is this ant, this ant maze, this ant maze is actually annoying. Cause if I wanna play Hood there, I'm actually gonna skip. Okay, so these Zabu as well. We got the Annihilus. Yeah, everybody loves my Electra. What do you guys think about my Electra? Yeah. Now we play Super Giant. And now we develop the Hood. Mm, okay. I'm gonna play Widow's Bite on the left. We have initiative, which is very nice. And now, now we do you into you, into you. No, we do you into you into you. Not sure what could go wrong here. They could be playing Elias. We'll see. Miss Marvel. Darkhawk over there. Iron Lad into what? Into Hood. It's fine. Annihilus! Annihilate. <laughs> oh, wait! No! The Widow's Bite! Go! Go! Because Galactus just denies that. So I, I, I need to think a little bit. My critical thinking needs to go up a little bit. This is a very hard deck to pilot, guys. Very hard. Because it, it actually is piloted differently depending on the matchup. And uh, there's, there's two combos that are actually very different from one another. It works, but it's just like... Okay, so both of us have four energy here. Lizard giving us that Castle Blackstone goodness. The negative zone, huh? What if I just Polaris here? Or what if I just Polaris here? Okay. We preserve the, the energy. Really, really important here. There's some cool setups that we could go for. There's a, a Valkyrie endgame into Bar Sinister that could also work. I need to Juggernaut this turn. And I'm going to Zabu on this side.
The Dabbler. That means the negative zone is there to stay. My question is, dear friend, what the hell are you gonna do about this? Like, I may give you a Zabu. But you lose that location. And then I just have to win another one. Nice leech, bro. Could have leech by sentry. But, you know. Five cards left in the deck. 4.613. They need, they need like, they need a shitload. No, this is the play. Guys, going all on the left, it's a mistake. This is the play. Yeah. And they're retreating anyways. Guys, going all in on the left, like... I, I have a lizard on this lane, sure. But it's gonna go down to one power. I still have four power. I have, I have four power over them. I have four power over them with only two cards. Considering this one goes down. Four power over them. This is nine power. That means 13. That means they need a play here that is 14 power. 13 power. It's literally only Blob. Literally only lose to Blob in the center. Let's treat every game like... Let's not rush games. I'd be doing that a lot. I'm gonna go Lizard on the left. They go Lizard on the right. We have Annihilus. And we got two. Where am I gonna? I'm gonna let's amp in mid. Even though we have regretted that play in the past. Locked over there. Okay. This guy's definitely playing um, discard. So I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna sentry. Wait, where did I check? The, they're Thanos. They're Thanos. Why didn't I check that? Unless, unless, okay. What a what? Day.
Yeah, th this deck also like I've had more eight cubes with this deck than 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 most other lists, but if we didn't draw Valkyrie there, we were we were screwed. That's for sure.